The Gravity I Lack for Stephen Hawking From 99's number 84 Beginning was only a concept that ended before it began. I have poured over these things as effects, not as facts. I accept being a kind of know-nothing. What I would do, not that I can, as I do not know the roots, how the leaves stem, nor the cause of emotive or physical laws. Yet I am a one in cahoots with nonsense, I merely suppose, aware that I'm barely aware, and unaware of the immense questions I can't think to ask. I look at it, pose in a stare, as though a contemplative mask can engulf chasms of pretense with blood-borne rivers in eyes that stream through slits in light that posits its negative night. Come either to none or surprise, significant only at sunrise, when moon that melts in sun from opposite sides of spheres liquefies silver and gold, an alchemist's dream is undone before the finding is told. Moltens are poured into ears, sizzle the brain till the throat drips the mask over the face as death drifts into space to leave us with what we connote and channel the change by remote. I wore a life mask then, I was dead, subsumed in revolving and spin. No miracles happened at birth. I entered the breach with my head. You tell me what beauty and truth, but I say it comes once again in wind-swinging vapors in dales, geysers that open from earth, or florid terrestrials of youth who planted their seeds in veils, drank from fountains of thales that ichor made sweet by bees. I've poured out my angles and forms on tooths until clear that I am, constant as tides are to sea, a wildling born to a dithyram, a mentor to caustics and storms that pattern themselves from dust, pulled by waves of sound in to spin in the doubt that I trust, till hot core is covered with crust. Reverie bursts from a mountain that flows from a sidereal fountain, that lava inflamed by its fire. What I seek speaks of a passion, a focus as vast as the Hubble, though imaginings fog that great lens. So we're left with theoried creation, some space-time significant whens, the universe formed from its rubble, a dark star that comes for our void, a vacuum that sucks our oblivion or shatters the night-like obsidians we created and then were destroyed. That logic is hard to avoid. I discovered his triumphal arc, infused by translated speech, come from two-fingered type, a gestured centrifugal spark, lit in the dome of his archetype, simplicity formed from his reach, the transcended stricture, how gravity binds in light, the infinite denseness of night, positive force in his nature, Simpsonian breadth in his humor. He pondered the secrets of time as he encircled infinity, wheels of his spinning mind quick to astound the sublime, buttons that pushed him to click or fit his engendered cosmology, gravity binding his body compacted confines of his chair, begun in the trauma of nowhere, decibels paralleled energy, a kindness floating in levity, he gave to minions his words of range, revolution, conjectures of reason, exactitude laced with absurds, as time will retract opinions. But artistry has no season, as it evolves from quasars or forces moved to create, intuitive knowledge to elevate, understandings indelibly ours. He lives his next life in the stars. Ciao, Stephen.